Hi guys, so today's video is going to be this makeup tutorial for this black smoky eye. It's not totally, it's not completely black. If you see, it has some tiny sparkles or specks of silver gray. So the element that I that I have used in this tutorial are silver gray and black and I featured this one dollar duo this is a cream eyeshadow duo in black licorice by elf so I used that and um, I also used this black from my wet n wild 8 icon palette called blue hat me at hello so go ahead watch the video let me know if you try let me know if you liked this video and let's go ahead and get started okay so i'm going for a black smoky eye look today and i'm using this dollar elf duo cream eyeshadow in black licorice so i'm going to take that gray color and put it in the inner corner of my eye so I'm going to slowly dab that. It's a cream consistency and I'm not using a primer for this look. And uh, towards the end of the eye, the two thirds of the eye, I'm using the black in that cream eyeshadow. Now this eyeshadow won't just by itself creases like anything. So I definitely did not want creasing. I wanted to use this as a base instead. So that's what I'm going for here and I'm using an e.l.f. eyeshadow brush. This is one dollar again and um, I'm going to use my Blue Had Me at Hello Wet n Wild palette and I'm going to take this black on the on the bottom there. I'm going to use that black. Okay, dip the brush and go completely over that black base that I had on my eye right now. So just tap, 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 dip once again and place the eyeshadow. You don't have to be perfect. You are anyways going to blend the black, the silver and add some gray elements as well. So just place it completely on that black part of the eye. I'm going ahead and taking that silver color. I'm sorry, the lighting is bad. So that is a really nice silver eyelid color in that palette in the blue had me at hello. Tap the excess. And now go over that gray that I placed on the eye. The funny fact is this does not have much... Um... Okay, sorry. So, okay, I'm taking that e.l.f. eyeshadow blending brush. It's a blending brush. I'm taking that black once again. And I'm nicely going to go ahead and place it in the outer corner and go towards the inner corner. Now, this is one of my favorite brushes from e.l.f. Absolutely love this. I picked up the Eco Tools brushes, but I like this blending brush more. So I'm going to kind of drag it towards the upper corner, towards my brow bone, but not completely. I apologize for the lighting in this video. I tried my best. It's very, very gloomy outside. So I'm going to just check with the other eye and then kind of blend. If you see, it's, it's almost like I'm going all over the eyelid. So I'm dragging that colors towards the upper corner just to have that gray finish and this look is perfect for fall season take the eyeshadow brush once again and go over the brow bone which is a white shimmer okay tap off the excess there is not much of fallout with this palette for some reason I'm not, and I'm really happy with that so go over the Go over that color under the brow bone. You can just go ahead and darken that black eyeshadow one more time. Just placing it in the center of my eyelid just to give it more gravity. So just check with the other eye and see that they are on the same page. I'm going over the blending part one more time. It's not a perfect V. I just wanted um, 
a regular okay so this is the uh, eco tools small shader brush and i'm kind of trying to smoke it out so i'm taking that black color one more time and i'm going to go over on my lower waterline or lower lash line so just place the eyeshadow and i'm very very impressed this black is really nice a nice black color right there and not much of fallout so you can see how the look comes off <clears throat> excuse me so I'm going over with my Lacme Kajal pencil here and I'm placing that in my waterline this is my absolute favorite I'm trying to get my hands on the Milani liquify but I'm it's always sold out in my Walmart whenever I go okay so I'm taking my L'Oreal I don't even remember what eyeliner this is but it's more liquidy now and I hate this eyeliner absolutely the finish with the eyeliner it's a very very small tip I think it's the um, liquid linear intense eyeliner by L'Oreal and it's a very very glowy um, finish with this eyeliner I don't like that Um, so yeah, just put on the eyeliner, let it dry. I always try to dry my eyeliner before I place my mascara and that's how I try and cool off my eyeliner. So my for my mascara, I'm using the Maybelline Falsies Volume Express. This is soon becoming one of my favorite eyeliners. Uh, I'm sorry, mascaras. Okay, my mascara face there. <laughs> Open my mouth, make my eyes more wider and bigger and place that mascara right on my upper lash line and on my lower, lower line there. And I feel I don't need to curl my eyelashes with this mascara absolutely love that so this is the final look of the black smoky eye i hope you enjoyed this this look was requested by a couple of my subscribers in my uh one of the videos that i had this eye makeup on and thanks for watching guys bye